Welcome. My name is T4000. I'm your virtual assistant. My role is to teach you how to play Mortar Ball. Please watch this tutorial in full screen. Also, make sure to set the video resolution to 720 pixels. Are you ready? Let's go. Mortar Ball is a standalone sports video game and it has nothing to share with the Elder Scrolls Saga. But, since it relies on some Skyrim assets, I was forced to release it just like if it was a Skyrim modification. First of all, be sure that the four autosave features were previously disabled. Launch Mortar Ball like you would to with any Skyrim mod, but, once you're in the Skyrim main menu, forget about clicking on New Game, Load Game or Continue. Instead, open the console and type C U C Launch Game Start the game in training session mode. It's the default game mode, so, you don't need to touch the options button in Mortar Ball main menu. Once you will be spawned inside of the arena, just search behind the basket pole. There's a small metal lever. Push the lever, and you will notice that some wooden structures will appear around the basketball court. Let's have a look at them, with a top-down perspective. As you can see, wooden structures are located over most X or Y spaces. From now on, we'll call them, aiming posts. Their goal is to lock you in position and to drastically improve your accuracy. Seven spaces are not covered by aiming posts. They are just meant for trick shots. There is no specific technique to score a trick shot. The outcome of the trick shot will mostly depend upon your luck. An aiming post is composed by three parts. The ladder, the sunken barrel, and the hole. Its use should be pretty intuitive. Just run inside of the hole and gravity will do the rest. You will be always pushed at the center of the hole. Very soon, I will teach you how to shoot. But let's suppose you did shoot the ball and you want to go to another aiming post. In that case just run backwards and you will be out. Let's see how gravity works. What about if you hide aiming posts? How would you know you're inside of the hole? First of all, look 90 degrees down. In other words, look at the floor. The only thing to do is to check the position of the compass and of the crosshair. Pay attention to the position, then inspect the next picture. As you can see, nothing did change. Don't worry, because if you are outside of the hole, the compass and the crosshair will be located in a completely different position. This is the compass and crosshair position, when you're inside of an eye hole. The crosshair is located near the end of the lower white line. Let's quit the aiming posts argument, and let's prepare to shoot. In order to grab or throw the ball, equip the related ability from the magic section of your inventory. Tab button by default. Unlike in Skyrim, in Mortar Ball there is no magicka. You can use the ability as much as you wish. Apart from being inside of an hole and equipping the specific ability, in order to score a point, you will have to perform three easy steps. Step 1. Grab the ball. The ability is similar to Skyrim's telekinesis. Step 2. 
while looking down 90 degrees, activate the invisible button that spawns an aiming reticle in the upper sky. Don't release the ball yet. Step 3. Locate the reticle and line up your shot. Now you can release the ball. The aiming reticle is a square formed by seven vertical lines and seven horizontal lines. It floats at very high altitudes. Under most circumstances, you should ignore the presence of vertical lines, because they are not going to be of help. But there are few exceptions. When you're aligned with the center of the court and you are going to shoot, make sure the end letter of the compass is aligned with the fourth vertical line, which is also the line in the middle. In this case, you must ignore the end letter and the vertical line. You are going to shoot from the left part of the court, not from the center. Even the compass tells that you are off-center. N is off-center too. Now things are pretty different. You are going to shoot from the central area of the basketball court. Even the end letter is aligned to the center of the compass. In this case, the end letter must match the fourth vertical line. Let's set aside the vertical aiming lines. Before releasing the ball, always check that the compass is parallel to the horizontal lines. This rule applies to every existing shooting stand. In some particular cases, the compass will be somewhat far away from the nearest horizontal line. These are the trickiest shots. The only thing to do is to use your spatial intelligence to determine whether or not lines are parallel. In this specific case, the ball will not go inside of the basket. The compass, yellow, and the nearest horizontal line, red, are not parallel. But it's not the end of the world. In these cases, you can try to fix the aiming angle. You did just learn how to shoot the ball straight. But you still don't know how to control the power of your shot. The ball might fly behind the board or might even land near your shooting stand, far away from the basket. Horizontal lines have two features, they are also involved in power control. The closer the aiming post is to the basket, the lower the horizontal line will have to be. On the contrary, if the aiming post is located very far away from the basket, you will have to aim at one of the higher lines of the reticle. If you are going to think that the mortar ball aiming reticle is way too enigmatic, I've got good news for you. There are just nine different line combinations. Because if two posts are equally distant from the basket, they will share the same aiming line. This is the correct way to aim. As this example shows, the ball touches the horizontal line from bottom. In this case, it's the third line from bottom. Let's take a refresher. 
Are the compass and the nearest line parallel? Yes, of course. In this case, the aim is not good. The ball is touching the interior part of the third line, but it should just touch the line from bottom. If you won't fix your aim quickly, the ball will fly without the necessary power to reach the hole of the basket. Let's check some real examples. As you know, in order to control the power of your shoots, you must rely on horizontal lines. In some cases, you will have to rely on half lines. Instead of counting the lines themselves, you will have to count each space located in the middle of two lines. Finding the exact point of an half line could be way too challenging. That's why I thought to make things simple. You'll have to aim with the lower part of the compass, so that the compass touches an horizontal line from top. Here's an example. As you can see, I'm aiming at 1.5 horizontal lines. Step 1. Make sure that the ball is roughly located between line 1 and line 2. Step 2. Now simply make sure that the lower part of the compass touches, the top part of the nearest horizontal line. In this case, the ball is roughly between horizontal line 1 and 2. Which is correct. But the compass is touching the bottom part of the nearest line. Instead, it should touch the top. Let's check an animated example about half lines. You did score a point. What about now? An invisible piston will eject the ball, but the piston will only work when interacting with the hardwood floor. The hardwood floor will act like a lever. Just make sure to activate it.
Before switching to exhibition mode, I strongly suggest you to train with ease. 2. Advanced Exercises Exercise number 1. Try to shoot faster. During an exhibition, reticles will despawn in 2 seconds. Exercise number 2. Aim badly, then make adjustments after the reticle despawns.